Hello guys, I'm Chiri. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a 1978 Datsun 260Z 2 Plus 2. This body style is very, very well known. It came on the market in 1969 and was in production until 1983. 14 years production line. There were different modifications from 240Z, 260Z and 280Z. The numbers shows the capacity of the engine, so 240Z is 2.4 liters, 260 is 2.6 and 280 is 2.8 liters engines with some exceptions of course but all they are equipped with straight six cylinder engines so the car what we have here today is a Datsun 260Z 2 plus 2 which mean is 2.6 liters engine straight six of course is for four people because most of them are just two seater cars but here we have um, the wheelbase actually is a little bit ex extended to make space for the rear two seats. We're going to talk about this specific car a little bit later. Now let's go to the Z series Datsun or Nissan because depends from the market the cars were batched with both emblems Datsun in some countries or Nissan in other countries. The man responsible for this car was Yoshihiko Matsuo, the head Nissan designer on that time, he designed the first car from the Z series, the 240Z, was just an amazing car, front long bonnet, short wheel drive, two seats, small passenger cabin and again short tail, just what the young people like it. The front long mountain uh, engine is six cylinder of course, 2.4 liter with carburetors manual transmission and rear wheel drive only very very small car very short and narrow but very quick and fast and of course stable on the road the success was already done the main market was the usa so it was a slick styling modern engineering low price car and amazing performance because all of this the interest to this car was massive so very soon the customers and actually the dealers they needed to wait a long time to receive the car these first generation cars are known as a S30 this is the code name S30 they are with four uh, wheel independent suspensions McPherson on the front front disc brakes and rear drum brakes the first versions 240Z are equipped with uh, twin style Hitachi carburetors, then 260Z with the uh, updated versions Hitachi again carburetors, and later versions um, Nissan uh, Datsun 280Z. They changed uh, to the fuel injection Bosch Jetronic because of the regulations. So there are as well some 2 liter 6 cylinder versions. For example, the very, very early Fair Lady Z, Nissan Fair Lady Z, uh, this is very early car, is with 2 liter straight 6 single overhead cam uh, engine and producing 130 horsepower. But how I said, the most produced versions are 2.4 liter 6 cylinder 4 speed manual or 5 speed manual, or from 1971, even for the American, mostly for the American market, they was producing the car with automatic transmissions as well. The wheelbase of the car is 2 meter 305 millimeters. The car is long 4 meter 140 millimeters. It's wide 1 meter 6 to 6 millimeters. So you see how, how narrow the car is actually. And it's high just 1 meter 283 millimeters. The weight of the car is little bit over 1 ton, 1044 kilograms. So the early 240Z with the 2.4 liter engine were in production from the beginning of 19, so from 1969 to 1973. Then it came the 2.6 liter version, so that's on 260Z with the 2.6 liter engine, of course. The, this is the updated one. Actually, the car, what we have here today is exactly this Datsun 260Z. The production started from 1973 and was until 1978, so this is, our car actually is from 1978, so it's from the last of the 260Z 2 plus 2 car, and this particular car is with two door, coupe 2 plus 2, but as well they were 
of course, just with three door coupe, just for, with two seats. So, was amazing car, just fantastic car. 260 is a little bit more powerful than the 240, of course, and absolutely, absolutely amazing car. The same configuration is like the 240Z, just the engine is 2.6 liters. So the gearboxes as well are the same 4 or 5 speed manual or even 3 speed automatic transmission. The wheelbase is 2 meter and 300 millimeters or 2 meter 604 millimeters. So this is just for the 2 plus 2 versions. So it's just 302 millimeters longer than the just two seater because with the two seats on the back. The car is long, the 260Z is long 4 meter 140, but 260Z 2 plus 2, the car what we have here, is 4 meter 445 millimeters longer, is wide 1 meter 626, and is high 1 meter 283 millimeters. The weight of the car is for the 260Z Z is just 1100 kilograms, but for the 2 plus 2 version is approximately 1200 kilograms here the power is a little bit little bit more than the 240z so it's 165 horsepower so about maybe 20 horsepower more than the 240z and now let's talk about um, this specific car the 260z 2 plus 2 this car was designed to be more practical because they make uh, research and they find out that the eventual the potential buyers they they wanted actually the Z car, but they said it's only two seats, so we have little kid or our family is little bit bigger, we need another seats. So that soon actually Nissan they decide very quick to build a long wheel base car, so to put the two extra seats on, on the back. So this is the reason why they have the Z series with two plus two seats, and the engine is cast iron block, aluminium head, and only two valves per cylinder, single overhead cam. The capacity, of course, is 2.6 liter, 2,565 cc. The compression is 8.3 to one. Uh, the mechanical, the fuel pump is mechanical, and the same Hitachi twin Hitachi carburetors, 44 millimeters, and the power, how I said, is. 162 or 165 horsepower. We said about the gearboxes, uh, they're 4 or 5 speed manual or even automatic, 3 speed automatic transmission. The brakes are like the 240Z discs, discs on the front, 270mm discs on the front. The rear, they are drum 230mm. The suspension is the same like the 240Z. The wheels. Of this car, they are 5.5 wide by 14 inch. They are not alloy, but pressed steel wheels. And the tires, they are 195 VR14. Later versions, of course, they receive some alloy wheels and they look much more better on the car. The maximum speed of the car is 127 miles per hour or 204 kilometers per hour. And imagine this is 1974-1975, uh, which is absolutely, absolutely very good maximum speed, 204 km per hour or 127 miles per hour. This because of the six-cylinder engine, the, the lightness of the car, and the aerodynamic, of course, of the car. All this affecting on the maximum speed, so it was very, very aerodynamically nice car. So the maximum, that's why the maximum speed was over 200 km per hour and the acceleration as well from 0 to 60 miles per hour or 97 km per hour is just 8 seconds just amazing the fuel consumption was approximately 20 28 miles per gallon but uh, we cannot uh, expect from six cylinder engine to be very very economical but anyway it's not that bad then the 260z was replaced by 280z so 2.8 liter uh, engine, six cylinders, of course. Of course, uh, again, two seats or two plus two seats. Um, the same gearboxes, four or five speed manual or 
automatic, of course, mostly for the American market. And the car was a little bit heavier because the engine was bigger and more extras on that time. It was introduced in 1978, so the people was asking for some extras. That's why the weight was a little bit more than the 242-60Z and was in production until 1983. So this was the final year of the Z series 1983 with the model 280Z. So how we said, let's say one more time, start Z series, they start production from 1969 and they stop production in 1983 where they've been replaced by the, by the next generation Z series 300Z. But this was completely, completely different new model. So this one is the first, the Mark One, the original edition Z series, which is absolutely amazing car. Just have a look, just have a look how loose this car is amazing. So about the, let's say, in other words, for the 2.280 Z with the 2.8 liter engine, the capacity is 2,753 cc. Here we have uh, already electric fuel injection, Bosch Jetronic, and the power is 170 horsepowers. This was known as the Nissan S130, the code name S130 is not 30 anymore. So just have a look here, the alloy wheel here is the alloy wheel, this Nissan 260Z batch, the 14 inch alloy wheel, is absolutely amazing, amazing car. But the 280Z, they were various of engines from 2 liters, naturally aspirated 2 liter, 2 liter turbo, and uh, as well 2.8 liter naturally aspirated from where the names came actually and 2.8 liter turbo engine with 180 horsepower so the turbo was guided just a little bit under 0.5 bar compression so that, that's why the maximum power was just with 10 horsepower more than the naturally aspirated uh, one more time the naturally aspirated engine 280z is 170 horsepower here the turbo version 280Z turbo is 180 horsepower, just 10 power, 10 horsepower more, but because how said from the turbo was uh, adjust just to a little bit less than 0.5 bar compression. But let's let's give attention to this car. You can see on the back as well the short version 240 uh, 260Z the, the short version. Just have a look the, from the back side of the door to the rear uh, tire the small space and the car what we have here today is a little bit bigger but these cars from 1970s and 80s they are just amazing just have a look the spoiler on the back this plastic black spoiler with the Datsun badge and the 260Z on the left side just have a look how cool the car looks with these tail lights just amazing the chrome bumpers and this plastic surrounding the, the rear lights but one more time the the best side of the rear side of the car actually is the this spoiler is black plastic spoiler this was very very common for the cars from 1970s and 80s they start to add some plastic black trims so the car they looks more sporty but it's this spoiler really suits very very nice to this car and uh, probably is effective as well with the patch here, one more time, Datsun and 260Z, 2.6 liter engine, 162 or 165 horsepower. Just have a look from this view, the rear side of the car, the rear wing, the, the tires, the, of course, they are 195 VR14. This is the original size for these tires and the mirror of course inside of course is very 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 nice car with these indicators everything is the indicators they are around all day around so the car really looks very sporty inside of course as well the front wing is massive because front side the bonnet is very long so it's if it's open type this car is gonna look like a roadster it's, it's gonna be typical typical roadster because it's long bonnet and short wheel drive and short tail and the front side, of course, just have a look with that bumper, chrome bumper, the lights, of course, they're just amazing, just have a look from this view, it's very, very beautifully made car, and this is designed from 1969, imagine, 1969 design, but this is 1978 model, with this front spoiler, of course, 
the original car 1969, they haven't got this spoiler uh, under the front bumper. And this car was fully, fully restored. Uh, 30 years was um, sitting just on the garage, and then in 2017, the current owner he bought the car and he restored to the original glory. Just the car. This is absolutely, absolutely amazing car. So, guys, I hope you liked the video about the Datsun Series Z. Please, if you like, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time, guys. Bye.